Hello. Just want to tell you my story. Well, I wasn't a Christian. I fell away from him. God. And, uh, 2010, I found out I had a massive brain tumor. Uh, brain tumor was big enough to where it was enlarged on this side. And I found out from my family doctor. Went to, uh, neurosurgeon. He couldn't believe that a uh, brain tumor person didn't send him to me and he was, he was he was wild that I was standing up straight. I wasn't with Christ then. And um, then they he sped things along to where he sat there and had uh, had uh, within the next week or two we ended up having surgery. My parents brought a um, pastor to me to, and um, before I was going into the to the pre-surgery, to basically where he gets to check out everything, make sure what to do surgery for, and uh, I sit there and I, I hated Christians, and um, but that was the only one, of the only two people Christians that are respected, and. Um, and he came and he prayed for me. And um, I, I turned my heart and life to God then. And it went through terrible stuff, what I went through, having surgery. I uh, couldn't hardly think straight. I had to have help talking. I went through six and a half weeks of chemo and radiation. And that was just, uh, felt like an old, old man. I was 32 at the time, and I felt like a really old man who couldn't do anything. I mean, I had to have a cane, and it was like a journey just to walk, you know, just a little bit. So I sit there, and uh, after the chemo and radiation, I got ended up uh, wanting to read the Bible, and um, couldn't read the Bible at all, couldn't understand any of it. I end up getting angry. And I said, God, if you're gonna if you want me to read the Bible, you're gonna have to give it to me. Let me be able to read it. And then he started telling me just to open up the book randomly. And uh, I would read one chapter and it, it was like it was lit up for me to sit there and read and I understood the whole thing. Couldn't read after or before it. But I I had to read that one chapter and uh, I understood it. And that happened for months and months because of how bad my mind and body was. And um, I ended up starting to get better. I ended up having uh, chemo pills once a month, which I'd have it uh, five straight days. And it'd be once, a, once every month. And so I started getting better. And um, I decided to do some... Uh, things that cause I tried to look up Christians and how they dealt with theirs chemo and uh, they just sit there and, and just talked about you know how down they were so I ended up doing like a messed up dance a walk with my dog uh, stuff like that I did that for months and put it on YouTube because I thought you know why sit there and put it as horrible when you have God by your side. And um, I sit there and just did that. And um, I finally was able to go to church uh, in 2011. And I started doing, being able to do stuff. And I ended up getting diagnosed with uh, the reason why my uh, I didn't have a good memory or, or a very good brain. I uh, did a test, and um, they, uh, they said I was, um, that it's caused of course of surgery in the tumor, and uh, so I sit there and went with out it, you know, I, I, that's why I got confused so easily, and um, it, they, they did that to, at the January of 2011, and uh, by the, I think, September or October, they retested me and I got undiagnosed. The Lord had provided me 
to be able to do more things and heal my brain. I was able to be a volunteer for hospice and um, doing things for hospice has been great. I've actually seen some miracles through this hospice project I've been doing as just a volunteer. I've seen so many things happen through them and it is it is cool to be beside it and watch it happen. And um, it is just it was just it's just been wonderful. I went two years, two or three years, like in 2013 I ended up having to have surgery again. Surgery two surgeries I ended up having to take. And through all this I've had a tumor and I've had all this stuff. But I have been with God completely, no matter what is going to happen to me. I know, you know, I'm not going to be the one who's going to take away all the all this problems, this brain tumor. But He's He's let me do so much more than a normal person. I shouldn't be living this long. I should have been dead way, way before. I shouldn't be able to do the things I do. The brain tumor actually was uh, against pressing against this eye, and it, it's it's I shouldn't be seeing out of this eye. But uh, I'm being able to see out of the eye and being able to drive still. I, mean, I walk my dog every day, and I shouldn't have the energy to do that. Through all the, I've been through. There is just nothing I should be able to do to be able to mow lawns and walk my dog and uh, do all this stuff. And I sit there and just try to reach out to people and uh, without really saying it until they ask, I reach out to people. I've, through the hospice thing, I've not even talking about the way I am. They just seem to notice and they ask me and and then that just kind of opens the door for me to actually do something and so I've been doing that as much as I could and praying for people and then also going to church going to a few churches and it has been a great blessing that I've been able to stay alive so far from 2000 to 2014 I shouldn't be living but through God's grace and His help to do this, I wouldn't be able to do it at all. And um, if, I mean, all I could say is a person, I used to write poems and stuff like that before. Well, my mind has been messed up enough to where I can't write them. But He put on my heart, He helped me write like 90 or 100 hundred um, devotions that make so much more sense than what I should be able to do. So he has used me to do some things and uh, I mean it's all him. I'm, I'm just here along for the ride and I just wanted to let some people know that if you put your trust, full trust, in the Lord I have I have left everything to him. Finances, everything, every single thing. And before when I had the job, made a lot more, but it was nothing. It was not. wasn't paid off with all the bills. But uh, since I've come to the Lord, making less, things have been paid off, even with all the extra pay that we have to do. It's, it's just the Lord. He takes care of you if you believe. And I just want to say that, oh man, once you just know to believe, it, it'll, be, it'll be wonderful. Thank you.